Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can override a checked out document in SharePoint Online. So here's a use case for you. Um, let's say, you know, here we have this team site and uh, Mary and I, we're members of the team. I'm actually the owner, Mary is the regular member. And um, Mary decides to check out this document, all right, because she doesn't want to collaborate and cooperate with me. She wants to check it out uh, to herself. Um, so nobody will uh, modify this document uh, while she's making uh, the changes. I actually described the whole thing about uh, check in, check out in one of the previous videos. You can find it on my YouTube channel. All right, so um, here I am in this browser logged in as Mary. So Miri decides to check out the document, right click more check out. So the document is now checked out to Miri. Miri is the only one who can make changes to this document right now. And then, you know, let's open up the document. So here we go, Miri uh, making changes here. All right, perfect. All right, uh, obviously everything is auto saved because we're in the um, browser version of Microsoft Word. All right, so here we go. Just uh, hitting um, close on the tab, the browser tab, and the document has been saved. Um, now, again, you know, Mary is still the only one who can see this change. Mary is still the only one who can, uh, you know, make, keep making changes to this document because the document is still um, locked uh, out, uh, you know, checked out to Mary. Um, so let me just show you what happens behind the scenes, um, you know, when the document is checked out. So if I do uh, right click in version history, you're going to see that there are three versions of the document. Um, all right. And essentially Mary is the only one who can see this particular version until um, she decides to check the document back end. At that point, it will be visible to everyone. Uh, if I go to another um, browser tab, this is where I'm logged in. I'm only going to see uh, the first two uh, versions, all right? Uh, I'm not going to see the third one until, again, Miri checks in the document. Um, and what happens way too often is that users check out the document and then they forget to check it back in, all right? Uh, maybe they go on vacation for a few days. Um, you know, maybe they just, you know, forgot to uh, check it back in. Long story short, uh, we are not able, nobody can really, you know, make any changes to this document. You see, uh, here we go, I'm trying to make changes to this document and I really cannot, uh, all right, I cannot, you know, make any changes um, uh, to this document because the document, as you can see, is checked out uh, by someone else, Mary, in this case. So how do we check it in, um, you know, on the user's behalf? Um, luckily, we have a way to do so, uh, but you have to be the admin of the site. Essentially, you have to be the owner of the site, all right? Uh, regular members cannot check in the document on uh, uh, other members' behalf. Only owners can. So for that, what you would need to do is right-click on the document, more, and you can either check it back in or discard checkout. If I choose discard checkout, then essentially, uh, Mary's changes will be lost, will go back to whatever previous version of the document was, version 2.0. However, if I check it back in, I can supply, um, you know, some comments. All right, here we go. Uh, just so that everyone knows what happened during this particular revision and check it back in. With this method over here, the one I just showed you, uh, I was able to check in the document um, on Mary's behalf. All right, so if I do right click version history, we are going to see this third version of the document right here. And if we open the document, we are going to see the changes that Mary made. So essentially with this particular feature, nothing has been lost, all right? Essentially, we literally just checked in the document um, you know, on Mary's behalf. And again, uh, her changes were not lost. It just, we pretty much, um, you know, took care of the check-in for her, all right? Um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. Uh, hopefully you learned a new trick. Again, um, it's a nice way for you to kind of override the checkout if your members, if your users, uh, you know, checked out a bunch of documents and nobody can collaborate. This is a great way to kind of fix the situation. And again, all you need to do is just uh, check it 
uh, back in on their behalf. But again, remember, uh, you have to be the owner, you have to be the admin of the SharePoint site. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you in this uh, video. Hopefully you learned a new trick. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.